Well, we're hoping to make a tough topic easier to talk about today, teen depression. Candice Limoges is a registered psychologist with Safe Directions and Hall Psychological Services and joins us this weekend's edition of Calgary's Child. Welcome and thank you for coming in thank today. You for me. So, you know a lot about depression. Can you explain to us exactly what depression is then? It's uh, feeling blue. What do you what do you what happens? So, people who have depression, we think about it in terms of uh, it's a change in functioning that is impacting multiple areas of a person's life. And so people who are depressed are feeling sad and, and we think about it that they've lost a lot of things that are important to them. So loss of appetite or a change in eating where they're either losing weight because they have no appetite for a prolonged amount of time or they could be eating more than they usually do. A person who's depressed has no energy and they're fatigued often, they, they may want to sleep. Um, somebody who's depressed uh, may report a lack of interest in doing things that were once important to them or pleasurable, uh, disruption in going to work or school, they may not want to go or feel able to go and once they're there their performance may be different. Uh, sleep is a big thing and so people who are depressed uh, might report an inability to fall asleep or they may wake often throughout the night. and. Uh, expression of hopelessness or helplessness. People who are, who are depressed are um, feeling this way and, and they're distressed by that. They know that it's impacting multiple areas of their life and and so it's... And so is it a cycle then that they feel depressed and so then they are depressed and it gets yeah. kind of tougher to get out of that? Depression can be episodic and, it, and then it can become a disorder and so a series of episodes in a person's life would be ways that a professional could help them distinguish what they're going through but it's certainly a long amount of time affecting a wide area of their life whereas somebody who's blue uh, we think about that in terms of a context or a, si a situation or an event that's happened in their life it's a normal response to feel sad or upset about something that's happened and uh, feeling blue isn't something that takes place over a long amount of time and it doesn't impact so many parts of a person's life. Okay, so for teen depression, yes. then, what can you do or what does that yeah. look like? So parenting teens is really, really difficult and, and we know that they're very sensitive and they can be agitated and be quick to ir be irritated if they're questioned. And so what parents want to look for with their teens is that irritability can, can be a signal that your teen is having a difficult time and, and not coping with their life. You want to be aware of your child and aware of their temperament or their functioning ahead of time and look at some of the things that I've mentioned. How are they sleeping? How, are they, how is their attendance at school? How are their grades? Have, have there been any changes to those things? Um, how are their friendships, their hobbies and things that are of interest to them? If, if you're seeing impacts in those areas, a parent's going to want to first and foremost be aware of themselves because these things are really hard for parents and they get very worried. And, to be attuned and really present with your teen, you have to be aware of yourself first. And so uh, when you're approaching your teen, you want to have a degree of casuality about it. You want to be casual and um, neutral when you're having a conversation rather than a, a line of questioning and let your teen you know, feel supported and, and loved and like there are things that, that can be done to make it better. All right, thank you so much, Candice, yes. for coming in. Obviously, a topic that's going to be of interest for many yes. parents out there. You can learn more at hullservices.ca. Also, don't forget to pick up the latest edition of Calgary's Child Magazine. It's on stands at various places in Calgary. And you can also like them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter.